Hi guys, it's uh, five past one in the afternoon, Monday, the 18th, for some reason that looked like the 16th from here. Um, change of plan on the count of that I can't move very much in the lounge. Um, I'm going to get this lounge cleared up because I've got bits lying everywhere again. So I need to uh, clear some room. I've got Lego tubs that need to go back into their rightful place. Lots of other bits that need to go back into place and whatnot. Just to, it's just clutter. I mean, look, it's just clutter every bloody way. Those traffic cones can go downstairs actually. When I next go, which should be in a little while. Because uh, I've got some errands to run for, for Mum as well, as well as myself, because I've got to post the uh, boomerang parcel again. Um, so I'll do that when I go into town for Mum. Um, yes, yeah, so I think by the time I've done all that, it's going to be a bit too late to. Uh, start clanging around working on a bike, unless I can find a job on it that's quiet, like um, cleaning it down and perhaps stripping off the parts that need to go in the bin. Um, speaking of, I'm going to empty my trailer next time I go over to Mum's. I'm going to load what's on the trailer into the car and that can go down the dump. Um, because that scrap isn't worth anything at the moment, is it? All I've got on the trailer is just uh, steel. It's I doubt I can get anyone to collect it because uh, you know it's not worth weighing in at the minute. Well, it's either that or I hook the tr pump the tire up, hook the trailer up, and uh, dump it down at the scrap yard myself. But either way, I've got to dump it for free, so I won't get anything for it. Uh, getting emails from eBay trying to sell me things. <laughs> oh dear. I only want the keyboard for that Fujitsu Siemens laptop. Um, and it looks like well, my educated guess would be going by what I found on the back of the keyboard and. Uh, on the laptop under the keyboard and show you. I'll just turn the lights on again. I've got that on the back there, crud, and uh, I'll just pop the open. See, having a podgy gut does come in useful. It's a third hand. Just see, sorry, in here, you see all this crud. And right down in the gap in there, in the, on the plastic, there's also green crud and there's something sticky in here. I think someone may have spilled a juice drink or a fizzy drink or something in there. And that's uh, gone into the keyboard, wrecked the keyboard. And uh, thankfully it hasn't done a great deal of damage in here. It's only on the outer insulation of that cable. So I said, laptop works, there's nothing wrong with it. I think I showed it in the yesterday's video. Yes, I do believe I did turn it on in yesterday's video. Um, £7.50 for the keyboard, but I can't remember if postage was free or not. Um, but I've got to do these errands for Mum, and she put the money across into my bank account. But what I was going to do, as I've got you know, 40 odd quid or so in my pocket, I was going to um, use the cash in my pocket to get her stuff with and uh, just leave, I think I've got £15 in my bank account, and just leave that in there to hopefully get a keyboard. Or I do want those as well. <laughs> so, um,. I can't remember how long was left on those um, trigger shifters. Let's just go to my eBay. Uh, 
It's a day and eight hours left. There's a few things in here I can actually delete. Uh, could have got that if I had a bit more cash in my account. <laughs> that can wait though. £2.50 to post it. It's going to cost a tenner in total for a replacement keyboard. Do I really... Do I, the question is, do I want that more uh, than those trigger shifters, wherever they're gone, here? can't actually see anything else I need. I think there's only three items I need for projects that I can think of. Well, that's in my um, watch list anyway. Oh yes, we've got some feedback to leave, haven't we? Um, right. I'm going to decide what I want to buy later, I think. Um, that keyboard is buy it now, though. See, that's the problem I've got. <laughs> oh my doorbell's are... That might be the mailman. Hello? It is the mailman. Right, well, I guess I've got to answer the door to him, because he might hand me the parcels, if there is parcels. He's late today. I'll shut the camera off and I'll be back later. Just turning the camera on quickly, because I know what this is. It's not Lego. You kind of hope they would both arrive at the same time, but this... Key switch. So guess what I'm going to be doing later now. Got two keys. Feel cheap as hell, but. Well, it is on, off, on, off, or whatever is on and off. And of course, two wires. Not the right connectors I need, but that doesn't matter. I've only got two, uh, Durjuk. It really does feel cheap and chintzy, but uh, it'll do the job. No, I don't need a um, great deal of force behind the keys. Yeah, that's off, because I've just realised you can't pull the key out when it's in the on position. <laughs> okay, so at least I know which way is off and which way is on. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to fix, you know, I just connect these two wires up, stuff that in the hole, job should be good, in theory. <laughs> Emphasis on theory. Um, so yeah, I may actually do this as a separate video. I was hoping my Lego would arrive. Um, I just found a bit of plastic tubing. So I could uh, get some more work done on the hospital, but never mind. Another day waiting won't hurt. I'm thinking, does that go over that? I'm not sure what that plastic tube's for. Oh, well, that's on the wires now. That can stay on there. It's not going to hurt. Right. 
Mm. Packaging wasn't there, but I suppose I can't complain as it was free postage. You know, it was just in an envelope, no other, uh, you know, no padding, no protection apart from the paper envelope, but it doesn't matter. It got here safe and sound, so I can't complain really, but I'd have personally felt better if it was in one of those um, jiffy bag type envelopes, you know, the ones with the bubble wrap inlaid. Anyway, I'll see you all in a little while. I've been busy. The Claude Butler's going back in the bedroom in a little bit. <clears throat> but first, I've still got a little bit of sorting out to do in here. Uh, but it's all looking better than it did anyway. Uh, yeah, I figured as I did the um, lounge, I might as well um, start in the bedroom at least. Uh, there really isn't that lot to um, sort, really. Uh, I've got cables sorted out into these drawers now. So I've got scat leads, audio cables, video cables, etc. all in there. And the bottom one, all cables relating to computers. Ethernet cables, etc. <clears throat> uh, well, then two VCRs I want to put on uh, um, free cycle. I'm just going to stack them for now where I'm standing. Or I could even stand them down there, actually, anywhere out of the way. Uh, got some Lego. That's a Lego model I've got to fix because I broke it. Got a drill charger to go in the cupboard in the hallway. That charger, the plug on it actually fits this camera, so I actually have an external supply. Um, I don't know if this will run from the external supply. There's only one way to find out, I suppose. Oh yeah, I forgot to put those... Oh, no, I didn't forget to put those tubs away. I couldn't at the time, because um, when I first moved the Claude Butler out, it was uh, in the hallway in there. I had to put it in the lounge <clears throat> so I could get out to uh, go get some food. Because I had originally planned to uh, get the bedroom done and then just drag the Claude Butler back into here, but... I got distracted by another phone call. I've had two phone calls today. For um, probably going on to 45 minutes each. Two different people as well. <sighs> Poor Nemo doesn't know where to go and lay down when I'm uh, cleaning up. <clears throat> I don't think I'll get to sorting this out tonight. Unfortunately. I was going to attempt to fit the switch, that's why I've taken the battery out. This is actually quite a good design because you have to take the battery out to carry out any repairs to this. And uh, I say that's a good thing because that's 36 volts. I don't know what the ampage output is, but I know it would hurt if you got a shock. Just like a 12 volt car battery, that's enough to kill you, that pumps out enough amps to kill you. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that you do have to remove the battery pack in order to work on it, because it means nothing's live, I'm not going to short anything out accidentally, but uh, I might have a crack at it later when I've just done in the bedroom, I mean, all I've got to do is pull that up there and sort the wires out. What I'm going to use for connectors, I do have some more, is, um, I've already put one on the end of this one, these straight through crimps. If you're wondering what I used to squeeze them together, it was a blunt pair of cutters. And I go right at the back here, that way I don't cut through them. And these are actually, these aren't cheap ones either, these are pretty solid and tough. I actually had to use quite a bit of force to squish it. 
But um, at the other end of the ignition, or the wire on the ignition switch, it's going to go on here. And then I'll just plug that back on the connector in the thing. And I've got one on there ready. But uh, I will, I'm going to do a separate video. But I've got to see if I can actually get that to sit in the hole nicely. Or if I'm going to have to find another nut or something. Because <clears throat> there's not much of a lip there to um, fit it to. Or even a couple of large washers might be the answer. I'll have to have a look and see what I've got. So I don't really want to leave it hanging there. I haven't got any super glue or anything that I could even glue it in with. Although I don't even know if super glue would work, you know. Gluing metal to plastic. Super glue is usually good at gluing two of the same material together, but I've never tried it on uh, gluing two different materials together. Anyway, that's my plan of action. I've got just, well, as you've seen in the bedroom, there's not really a great deal left to do. I was just going to boot it all to one side and finish it tomorrow, but looking at it, I might as well just get in here and finish it now, mightn't I? There's only that few bits down there. Them two big charges I could probably slide under the bed for now, or even chuck them up there, actually. Um, I don't have to... I was going to put those laptop chargers in said designated drawer, but uh, I won't do that tonight. I'll just concentrate on at least getting this bit clear so I can get the um, Claude Butler back in. And if I really get stuck for something to do later, I can chuck these in the kitchen. In the kitchen cupboard, that is. Right, I'll get my arse into gear. Oh, just sat down to get myself a drink. I've uh, been a little bit busy again. Just finished up in the bedroom. At least for now, I need to run the hoover around, but uh, it's a bit too late at night to... Uh, Run around with the vac. In fact, there's, a, there's some shit down here. I'll get up with the... That might help. again. I you do quite a bit on one charge with that. I've just got a load of the sharp bits so I don't hurt my feet when I get up for a piss or something. Right. Well that can't be comfortable laying on that battery holder. <laughs> um, yeah, just got these few bit. That blue basket will go in the bin. I've got no use for it. Uh, yeah, so it's a lot better in here. I can actually move, and I've put the Claude back in here. Claude the second is in here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All done. Oh yeah, Biggles gave me this the other day. A code lock, and I'm not going to show you the code because it is open. <laughs> but yeah, we do know the car. It looks brand new. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. <clears throat> they're not very good, but they're still a good deterrent during the day, at, at least. But uh, I know those code locks aren't very good because I've actually had one broken <laughs> and my bike stolen. And they literally just broke the lock. So easy because I um, back then. I never used the, I'm going back several years now and I didn't, you know, didn't use eBay or anything like that. So I used to lock the bikes up to a road sign close to mum's house actually, where I, well, I was living with mum at the time. But I forgot to get it in one night and left it out there and someone actually broke the lock and rode off with it. But they only rode it into town and then left it outside a, um, outside QDs actually just across the way there well I didn't know if they would actually left it there if they were still you know in one of the shops so I went <clears throat> round and got another lock and locked it to the bike rack <laughs> so if they were in the shop they couldn't disappear with it again 
And then I went back and collected it later. But yeah. Da, da, da. Oh. Sorry, camera. I keep saying I pan too fast. Um. It'd be nice to try and. Uh, I think the first task before I do a video on the wiring would be to actually make sure and actually get this to fit snugly, at least, or securely, I should say. Um, but there is only, I don't know if you can see it, there is only that small lip <laughs> in there to uh, fix this to, so, um, yeah, I haven't quite figured that one out. <laughs> I've got a tub of washers somewhere I was going to use, I moved them again, I can't find them. Oh, uh, no, they're batteries, batteries. It's not up there, and it was on there. I know I used them on a bike. I may have stuck them. Da, 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 da. May have put them back in here. Light. Need a bit late on the subject. What's that? One? That's brake pads. That's brake pads. Nuts. Washers. There we go. Whoops. Just caught the screen on the bloody door. Jam. <sighs> Well, I didn't get done what I wanted to get done originally, but at least I've got some space to move now for other projects, because I'm expecting the Lego parts to arrive tomorrow for those. I hope. <laughs> so I can at least uh, get some more done to the hospital. <sighs> I still haven't decided if I want to get that keyboard yet or not. Or if I should just save what I've got in case I need it, which might be a good idea. Epoxy uh, uh, edge. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get that in the hull. I haven't fixed that one on. I've got some more of these, so if I do fuck any up, it doesn't matter. But I shouldn't do. They're quite tough. Right. Well, that is it for today. It's getting too late to bang around doing much. I'm going to slip my boots off in a minute, actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, so as far as tomorrow goes, that should be a bike day. Hopefully. Um, yeah. Can you see Nemo peeping around there? <laughs> That's what he does when he wants feeding. He'll just sit there and peep at me round the corner. Bless him. I better go fill his dish up as well before I settle down at the computer. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and uh, I'll talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.